Yo, what's going on, Dragon Ballers? Welcome back to another video. Today, it's a new week. We're looking at new cards, catching up with all the green yellow spoilers. I believe we're getting the rest of them on January 15th, so just a few days from now, before the Chicago Regional, we'll know all the green yellow cards, I believe. But I wanted to put this video out here today because there's actually some really cool stuff to discuss with these new cards, particularly regarding the OG cell chain and the Jiren stuff's really cool to talk about. So we'll talk about these today. We'll talk about the rest of them when they do get revealed. But guys, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Hit that bell so you don't miss a video. If you want to help support the channel and look sick doing it, make sure to check out the description below. Got the new Crossroads TCG merchandise store up. The stuff looks dope. And finally, guys, all this stuff we talk about today, it's going to be legal for the Daily Mac Tournament of Power. If you want to play this stuff at a big tournament, make sure to check it out in the description below. It's going to be the biggest tournament of the year. I believe in my team, and we want to see you there. With that being said, let's get right into these cards. Android 20, first time we're seeing him as a leader in the game. Activate main once return. Look up three cards on top of your deck. Choose up to one green or yellow Android card among them, add it to your hand, then place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order. Now, if I'm not wrong, I think this is the first time we're ever getting yellow Android cards. So that's pretty dope. I think that's going to limit this to only searching, you know, Androids from set nine. But as far as green ones go, there's tons of them. And it's actually will search your three drop cell, the OG, the three drop from the OG cell chain. It is at one in the current format, but it makes it searchable. There's actually another way we'll talk about in a little bit. That makes it a lot more searchable a little bit e more easily it's a little bit of a, a combo but it actually makes the og cell chain playable with this deck doesn't have to be this leader but this leader might be the best way to play it we'll see though awaken when it lays to four or less choose up two of your energy switch them to active mode and flip this card over we're finally getting an android leader that untaps two that isn't super 17 and this offers a little bit more of a control aspect because you don't necessarily have to attack your opponent's leader so you don't have to give them cards like 17 does that's pretty dope. Let's see what the other side does. Android 20, 17, and 18, Bionic Resistance. Auto when this card attacks, draw one. Activate main once return, pay a green. If there are no other cards in your battle area, choose one green or yellow Android card with energy cost of three or less in your drop area. Play it in rest mode with its skills negated for the duration of the turn. Now, people were talking about playing three drop cell with this. There is a way to send it to the drop area, which we'll talk about in just a minute, but that's not really good because the problem is you're paying one green, you're bringing it out, you're bringing it out in rest mode, and you're bringing it out with its skills negated for the turn. That means you have to spend a whole turn defending it against your opponent's 15k attackers, against potential removal options, and that's just not the way to do it. It's not going to be the good, efficient way to play the OG cell chain with this deck, so we'll talk about the best way to do it moving forward. The best thing to probably bring out with this is probably going to be Deadly Defender 18, but they might also create or they might also reveal other cards that work really well with this type of effect we'll just have to wait and see it is really good though for a successor which is a big thing being pushed for green yellow so for one energy you can get three energy worth of battle cards out on the board for successor that's pretty solid android 20 mastermind architect one drop yellow when you play this card draw one activate main for three energy place this card in the owner's drop area choose a 17 and an 18 with energy costs of four or less in your drop area and play them so for three energy, you're getting eight energy worth of battle cards. That's also really good for successor, at least value wise. Is this card going to be, you know, like a mainstay staple in the deck? Hard to tell at this point, just because you don't know the rest of the rest of the scope of the cards. We don't know because turn one, you're probably charging a multicolor. So playing this for the one drop cantrip has to come on turn two. And then I guess on turn three, you can use the activate main to get all your battle cards out and your leader untaps two on awaken. So that's helpful. And that allows you to do some of the uh, six drop successors we've seen. But I mean, you know, time will tell with how the curve will work out for this deck. But this does work out and get you a lot of a lot of battle cards back to the board, even not for successor. I mean, just getting an 18 and a 17, it doesn't seem like their skills are negated. So they get any enter plays. Again, you can grab the Deadly Defender, which has always been a strong Android 18. So seems pretty solid. Android 15, Vicious Vendetta, a little bit of Android 13 support. That's pretty cool. Uh, if your leader card is green at the end of the battle in which you combo this card from your hand, it is a one energy 10K combo. Play this card in rest mode. It's a 10K attacker, so it doesn't seem all that great. It's kind of like a no opening Sun Goku, but on both players' turns and for green leaders, but it is yellow. So it pretty much locks you into that green, yellow kind of color scheme. Auto, choose one or two cards in your life, add them to your hand. When you play this card during your opponent's turn, choose up to one of your green energy and switches card to active mode so you get uh two one or two life so you get a self awaken for free because you untap the energy so it's actually pretty cool but if it's only if you do it during your opponent's turn so it seems like you can use this on offense or defense but if you use it defensively it's basically a free take two life and that's kind of similar to the draft box gohan we saw that says pay an energy you know rip two life and at the end of the turn you play it kind of similar and again this is pretty solid for successor it's a three drop 
for one energy. So that's what you want to look for for successor. You want to play really cheap battle cards that have higher costs for successor. Dr. Jero, Progenitor of Terror. Now, we saw the Beerus blue-red super combo. And so far, I haven't been too sold on these multicolor super combos. But the more I think about them and the more I kind of craft decks that use them, the better they seem to be. So this one says super combo. If you leave a card green or yellow, when you combo this card from your hand, shoot up to one green or yellow battle card with energy cost of four or less from your deck, place in your drop area, then shuffle your deck. So a few things. Notice how this doesn't require you to be at any type of life total. So this is this is uh, live as early as turn one. And it doesn't, also, it doesn't even specify Android. So there's probably other cool things you can do with this. Like for example, you can send the Goku Sand Instincts to your drop area, pay two energy, draw two cards. That's pretty cool. You basically trade it in one card to draw two. But the other cool thing with this is you can send the one of three drop cell to your drop area, assuming it's not in your life. Then you can play the two drop Dr. Mew. It's a green Dr. Mew. I believe it's either burst three or sparking three. I'm pretty sure it's burst three though. You play it for two energy. You get to pick up any Android from your drop area, bring it to your hand. So assuming the three drop cells in your deck, you send it with this, then you pick it up with the Mew and then you're able to play a uh, cell on turn three, do the whole cell chain. That's pretty insane. Now just keep in mind that obviously in the format coming up, there are tons and tons of counter plays. There are a lot of ways to interact with three drop cells. So I'm not saying it's a broken combo and it's not even ultra consistent. It's a two card combo that your leader can search part of. So keep that in mind. Your leader also has the ability to search three drop cell if you see it in the top three, but it does make OG cell chain much, much more playable, much, much more consistent. So that's pretty cool. If you guys are looking forward to that combo, if you want to play OG cell chain again, I would recommend picking up some of those Dr. Views from the draft box. It's a rare, so it could go up in price. Just want to let you guys know that. Android 16 prototype power. So it's a two drop 15 auto. If your leader card is green, when you play this card, shoot up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy of two or less ignoring barrier and KO it. So green leaders have an alternative to double impact Krillin. This actually has 15 K attack power and it is searchable in the Android archetype. So that's pretty cool. Auto, if you have yellow energy, when this card is removed from the battle area by an opponent's skill, choose one of your opponent's cards and switch to rest mode. These, these effects are really, really cool. You know, I've been calling them bonus effects. You know, usually when they leave the battle area, if you have a certain energy, do X. And this taps anything. This taps battle cards. It seems to tap the leader. It seems to tap energy because it just specifies card, not what type of card. So that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Hellfighter 17, the neutralizer. I like this card a lot. Three drop, counterplay. During your opponent's turn, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by one. Auto when you play this card. Or it is placed in the drop area from a battle area by a skill. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and negate its skills for the duration of the turn. Now, really important to note, this is not like a cold bloodlust because when you do counterplay with this, any battle card your opponent's playing, its enter play effects are going to be pending and you can't negate effects that are already in pending. There's actually a Deborah coming out for mono black that got spoiled that says it prevents skills from activating and it's a counterplay. So that would be more like a cold bloodlust. But this is really good against things like triple attack, double strike, uh, things that activate when they swing. So this definitely has usage. Your Dr. Jero leader can search it. Keep in mind, this is a Hellfighter 17, so you can't use it for like your cell chain pieces. Kind of unfortunate, but it's just something important to know. I still think this card's really, really good though. I think it has a lot of applications and it is an auto, so it gets around deflect, which is pretty sweet. Unfortunately though, it chooses, so it does not get around barrier. That's a little unfortunate, but something to keep in mind. I think it's still a really good card. Flash Bomber, one energy, activate battle. Choose one Android card in your battle area and it gets plus 10,000 power and crit for the duration of the turn. Now we talked about that Jarrell leader. It doesn't have to attack a leader to gain advantage. So you could just like play the OG cell chain, attack combo with this or use it in your combo set because it's activate battle and then give like seven drop cell plus 10K crit. So that's double strike crit. That's a way you can do it. Again, it does mean the deck requires more cards to pull off these combos, but it's just something you can do. It's a way you can play Androids to be a little bit more controlly which is pretty neat. Now we'll jump into the Jiren stuff. Jiren, auto, choose one card in your life, add it to your hand. When this card attacks, choose one. So kind of like Yellow Broly Leader, you can either draw one and then this card gains 5,000 power for duration of the turn, or you can choose a Universe 11 card in your hand with energy cost two or less and play it. That free playability is really strong. It is kind of weak to Black Mass Sand, so keep that in mind. Awaken, when you're to four or less, you may draw one card, then choose one of your energy, switch to active mode, flip over. Full power Jiren the Unstoppable. When this card attacks, draw one and it gains 5,000 power. That free 20k leader, pretty solid. Activate battle. Choose one card in your life, add it to your hand. Until the start of your next main phase, as long as you have a Universe 11 card in play, you don't take damage from your opponent's attacks. 
Now, a lot of times you're going to want to activate this on your turn because there are a few effects in the game that can negate your leader's effects if you decide to wait and use it defensively. So if you know you're playing against that, if you're playing against something like Baby where they can negate your leader auto or the new cell stuff can also do that with their new nine drop, you're going to want to make sure you use this on your turn and universe 11 in play that's a requirement but there are several of them with barrier as we'll see in just a second justice blast permanent you can activate these cards activate battle from your hand without paying energy cost so basically it's a 5k combo for the activate battle activate main if leader cards yellow choose one influence battle cards in rest mode ignoring barrier negated skills for duration of the turn then ko it that's pretty cool i mean i guess it gets rid of anything so maybe three costs is a little bit over costed but Negating its skills means it gets around indestructible. That can be relevant sometimes. Ignoring barrier means you get rid of things like Gogeta 7. So that's kind of neat. Good card, but I don't think it's like a mainstay staple by any means. Jiren, Righteous Leader. Three drop deflect. Auto, if you leader cards U11. When you play this card from your hand, choose up two U11s from your hand and or drop with different names and energy costs of two or less and play them with their skills negated for the duration of the turn. This card, it can spam beaters if there are things that are above like 10 or 15K. But the main thing this thing says to me is uh, successor. So that's the main thing. Again, three energy, you're getting a total of seven energy with the cards for three energy. So that's gonna help you with successor. Kunshi, threaded energy, permanent, all U11s in your battle area of two or less gain barrier. So that's how you can protect your stuff while keeping your awaken side leader effect live he also gives himself barrier so it's not like ox king where you have to worry about ox king getting removed so that's pretty cool binary blade casserol whatever his name is uh, two drop 9k auto if your leader card is u11 when you play this card or it's placed in a drop area from a battle area by a skill choose one u11 card and then it costs a one from your deck play it with the skills negated for duration of the turn and then shuffle your deck so that's pretty cool i guess for two energy you get three energy with the battle cards again keeping successor in mind and you can grab the kunshi from the deck or some of the old one drops there's like a one drop yellow u11 that searches top three so you can play this out bring that one drop out search top three that's pretty big pluses and your leader can play this for free so that just works out really really well and that's back to the leader so those are the cards i want to talk about today guys i think the cell stuff is really really good i mean you actually can play the og cell chain it's you're only going to be able to run it once per game because the three drop will be at one unless you want to recur it multiple times with Dr. Mew, like I talked about, but it is a lot more playable and the Jiren stuff's pretty promising. So I'm a big fan. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.